what's up YouTube? What's up? How are you all doing? Hope all is well. I'm Ambitious Jackie and I'm here this morning to read a few verses from Psalm 61 to you. But before I go any further, as always, please remember to like my videos, comments, turn the post notification bell on that when I drop a video, you'll be notified. And guys, please remember to follow me on my other platforms social media platforms is um they are jackie.miller2 is my instagram and my facebook is jackie mullins your kindness guys is always my pleasure so let me begin hear my cry O lord attend unto my prayer from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemies. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast heard my voice, my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his heirs as many generations. Number seven. He shall abide before God forever. O prepare mercy and the truth which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever that i may perform thy vows so guys this is the reading from psalm 61 psalms of david so guys let me just say a few things while i'm here um number one is saying hear my cry O lord attend unto my prayer guys we are always asking god to hear our prayer but guys every day we get up and asking God for his mercy by praying to him and so on and so forth but the question is what are we doing back in return because guys when we looked up and, and take into consideration the things that are happening in and around us. If God was not a merciful God, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here today. But because he's a merciful God and because his love and his kindness endured forever, he allows us to live our life he protect us he woke up us he wake me up this morning guys he wake me up he wake us up all this morning he give us strength he give us everything that he supposed to for things for us to carry on our daily lives but again the question that is bothering me what are we doing what am i doing in return for god the second verse is saying, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, my, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Guys, when your heart full, you know, when your heart full, something is bothering you guys, and you cry unto the Almighty for help, he help, you know, he helps, because he's the only one that helps and cares. Hurtly parents does not, they can only do what they can do but without the love of god we are nothing we say we know nothing without the love of god guys so that is why he says it's only a heart for his kingdom and once we live for him sincere guys live for him sincerely with a good heart a clean heart be loving to each other be kind to each other yes there are, there are times when as human being, we might feel short or feel downhearted because you keep doing good, you keep doing this, you keep doing that for someone. And then in return, more times as if you are nothing. But guess what, guys? Just leave everything to God. Just do your best and then God will do the rest. Okay, guys? No matter what someone's behavior or 
attitude or what towards you make you feel less than you should or trying to make you feel less than you should guys just overlook it and just trust in god just trust in god just keeping in your faith in god because he said only a heart for his kingdom and no matter what ma mankind might do or try to do to hurt you when god say yes is yes when he say no is no Man can only touch the body, they can't touch the soul. The soul belong to God. So we all guys have to just ignore negativity and cling to what we know is right. And what is right, guys, is to serve God in spirit and in truth. Number one really hit me when he say it grabbed me. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. That's all I'm asking God to do. Just to hear my cry. When I cry unto you Lord. Just forgive me of all my sins. My shortcomings. Hear my cry O Lord. And attend unto my prayer. Thank you Jesus. For saving me. Thank you Lord for keeping me. So many things could have happened guys. Last year. I've been through a terrible surgery. Discomfort with my stomach problem. And when you think that's all over, I got injury at work with my back. Then when you think that's finished, uh, um, last week or week before, about two, three weeks ago, I was, um, my family, my husband and I were taking my child, my child and grandchildren to the airport. As some of you already know the story. And, um, the, we could have died on the spot, but God save us. Come back again. I'm all right and um, going on my job. Then again, bad flu hit me. So many trials, so many tribulations. But guess what? Because God is merciful, I am still here. I am still in the land of the living where all my wrongs can be made right and my crooked paths become straight. And because God is a merciful God, he's such a merciful God. Sometimes, guys, when I see God's open door for me, I think to myself, God spoil us, see, man. You know, like you have your parents and everything you ask for, you get. No matter how, how, how misbehaving you are or were, God still give um, your parents, still um, grant you your needs. This God is more than that. He spoiled us because what? No matter how bad we live, no matter the wrongdoings, he still forgive us. He still forgive us because he's a forgiving God. He loves us with everlasting love. The love that God has for us, no man on earth, not even our parents don't have it. Not even our parents don't have that love that God has um, God have for us. So guess what, God, we always have to try just to serve him. That's all we is asking for. So guys, I don't want this video to be too long. But guess what? I am going to love you and leave you. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to leave you. And I am thanking you very much as always for your love and for your support. Support me, guys. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for these people who's come a long way for me. Guys, I couldn't do it without you. Right now, guys, I'm awaiting my pain. Who could it be? Jesus first and you second. You second. You are, you, you are my help. You are my shield on this YT street. And I thank God for you. So, God bless you. And as always, guys, just look after yourself and your loved ones. And no matter what is going on, baptize or no baptize. Just live for God. Just believe in God. Like what me doing. I'm not a baptized person, as you always know. But I believe in God. And I'm living for God. I am living for God. I don't care what nobody wants to say because I'm not going to church. Sabbath after Sabbath or Sunday after Sunday or Wednesday after. I am living for God. Because when I sat on my bed the other day, Monday, and saw what happened when this earthquake came, is only God. 
save our country and the rest of the world that um was um um get injury or disturbed by it and thanks be to god so far there no life was lost there no life everybody still yeah a few building have damage and this and that and that but that is just earthly that can be fixed but once life was spared or as spared we have to give god thanks please my people just continue to live for god live for him live clean live pure because only a art for thy kingdom okay and as always guys you can't be good just be careful look after yourself because the world out here is mad but we have to live in it and live good god bless you and i'll see you definitely again in the next upload bye for now my people bye